glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. You guys have got an earthquake swarm going on there in Central Highlands, Scotland. Nine earthquakes recorded so far. I believe the largest being a magnitude 3.9. Uh, people reported feeling shaking or maybe like a giant stomping that lasted, oh, probably three to five seconds. This area here has about six different faults that run through this location. And it's located between the Highland Boundary Fault and the Great Glen Fault. USGS said the largest was a magnitude 3.9. Um, eight people said that they felt this earthquake was given an intensity level of four. Here we have a map of those eight reports. We got one report here. 91 kilometers to the north, intensity level two. That would be about 56 miles. Um, Edinburgh, I might be pronouncing it wrong. Uh, also 91 kilometers uh, north or southeast, excuse me, intensity level two. Um, closer to the epicenter, uh, one response, intensity level three, intensity level four. I'm going to zoom into that, give you a better idea. And I'm going to show you um, a fault map, too, that I found for you guys. There is so many faults, and, and it's hard to, like I said, there's six of them in this location. The closest that I could find was Lock K, which is right here. But if I was going to give... A fault a name because of where all these earthquakes are occurring. This would be Lock Lion. More than likely there is a fault here, but I did find this. I'm gonna show you. Okay, here we got Lock Tray. And then we got closer. Looks like the uh Tyron fault. So it very well could have been that one too. You can see it's a fairly long fault zone here. Um, these, I believe, are left lateral strike slip faults. So it could be the fault movement, which I think is the culprit, but also could be glacial rebound, which is still going on. That's where um, back in the eons ago, you know, the ground was pressed down because of the weight of the ice, the glaciers on top. And then as they slowly come up, yeah, we get earthquakes. So that could have. Um, a big effect upon this fault fault line. It's been a while since I covered earthquakes um, here in Scotland. I had a lot of different faults drawn out, and many of you that have followed me for a long time know that I lost a lot of the mapping that I did uh, when Google Earth reset. The actual pronunciation for this fault would probably be the Tindrum Fault, and this would be considered an intraplate earthquake meaning it's not anywhere close to any fault boundary. Um, normally, you would have uh, fault boundaries, um, tectonic plate movement that would cause these earthquakes. But that is not the case in this situation. Another interesting page, I'll give you a link to that. There's gold and silver there. But to pan for the gold and silver, you have to get a permit. Here it says, all gold and silver in Scotland come under the ownership of the Crown Estate Scotland. Ultimately, it's owned by the King. The Crown Estate Scotland has to give permission for the removal and sale of gold in Scotland. The Crown Estate Scotland policy is that they do not grant permission for the removal of gold and silver. Uh, Viva recreational panning. Well, that's a bummer because here in the United States, along rivers and streams, you're free to do that. They have a picture of a small nugget that someone found. I'll give you a link to that. Basically, you can pan for gold, but it's against the law to remove or sell the gold you find. So I'll give you a link to that and a link to this page that shows the nine earthquakes and to this map that shows the many faults that run through this area. It's like, wow. It's a really long web address, but it will be down below if you're interested in the box that shows more information. So if you happen to live over there in Scotland and felt any of these earthquakes, please put your comments down below. 
Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.